Hey girl, let's talk crime. I want to say thank you to Big Recon 98 for requesting this next case. So today we're going to be discussing the murder of 16-year-old Chicago teenager Desiree Robinson. So normally I do a disclaimer saying that sex workers, consenting adults, uh, choosing to uh, make money by doing sex work is 100% respected here. Um, however, this is not that type of situation. Desiree was 16 years old at the time she was murdered. She was trafficked. She was a victim. In December 2016, Desiree was a runaway and she was associated with a man by the name of Charles McPhee. So Charles, who was 26 years old, had admitted in court that there was a finder's fee for Desiree. And so in exchange for finding her and um, taking her to a pimp, there was a $250 reward. Charles had delivered Desiree to a pimp by the name of Joseph Hazley. Now, Joseph was known to not be doing well. He and his girlfriend were living in his car while he was trafficking girls. There were messages on Facebook from Desiree to her friend stating that Joseph would not allow her to leave. So this was clear that she was being trafficked, that she was a victim. She did not want to be a part of this. Joseph then began posting advertisements of Desiree on Backpage.com. And on December 23rd, 2016, this man, Antonio Rosales, had messaged Joseph in uh, reference to 16-year-old Desiree. She was then taken to a party that he had invited her to where they did have intercourse. The following day, he wanted to meet up with Desiree again. Desiree was then taken to a home in Markham, Illinois to have intercourse with Antonio. However, he had no money and he wanted it for free. Desiree refused. He became really angry, began beating her and slit her throat. He then went outside where the pimp and his girlfriend were sleeping, knocked on the window and said that Desiree would be out shortly. When they went to go look for Desiree, she was lying dead in the garage and she was naked. Charles McPhee was given seven years for his role. Joseph Hazley was given 32 years in prison. And Antonio Rosales was sentenced to 39 years in prison.